Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Ace Cool, the A-C-E-K-O-O-L brand of stand mixer. This is a seven and a half quart kitchen electric food mixer. It has 10 speed uh, LED lit knob and used for making dough, any type of baking products. It has a all stainless steel bowl, stainless steel whisk, stainless steel dough hook, a stainless steel beater, and a stainless steel and plastic splash guard. This is a full 660 watts of power, and this is their black version, and they also have a red version. And the speeds are stepless, very simple to do. There's a, a, a circular knob right there we're gonna show. All the accessories are dishwasher safe, and this is relatively low noise. It's less than 75 dB within one meter. And on the bottom of the unit, it has anti-slip feet and a little suspension system so that when you're working with thicker doughs, it'll uh, allow this to stay put and uh, really hunker in on your counter itself. But it includes a little cookbook and an instruction booklet telling you how to use it. Right now I have the dough hook attachment on there. It comes with this attachment right here and this nice cover that allows you to put ingredients in if you want to. A lot of times you are doing certain recipes like with powdered sugar, it tends to splash out and it has this really nice all stainless steel bowl with you know maximum written on there. And this has a locking feature that actually locks right into the mixture. That's why it says lock right there. And then this right here for whisking things at a higher speed has included also. Now I want to show you that uh, this is all stainless steel. So inexpensive stainless steel, a magnet sticks to it. And what that means is that this is eventually going to rust. Now if I do the same experiment with what this is included, there's absolutely no attraction whatsoever. It just falls right off. Same thing with this. There's just no magnetism whatsoever on these components. It just drops. So that's a good sign that they're using quality stainless steel. So when you're ready to lower this down, you have this bowl locked in. You just lift this up like that and it allows you to drop it. Then you go to the right and that's what locks it in place. Then you notice that it starts blinking, letting you know that you could start to turn it on and apply motion to it. Very nice. It blinks to let you know it's ready to be used. Now, if you want to use this, this included guard, that could just be fit right over there. And then you could pour your ingredients in there and then prevent some of the splashing. When you're ready and finished, you want to lift this up. You just go in the direction of the arrow and it rises up just like that. And then it locks in place. It's got a really sturdy locking mechanism right there that keeps this all locked in place. You notice when it's up like that, you don't have access to the speed control for safety. And then when you want to remove this, you go clockwise and it comes right off just like that. I'm going to show you how the hooks go on and off and later on I'm going to be making some pizza dough. On the top of the unit right there you can see it has ventilation holes and that's going to help cool the high wattage motor while you're using it. On the bottom of the unit it's very nice because it has these suction on the bottom of the unit it's really nice it has these suction cups and that has their own little suspension system there's rubber behind them that's what allows this thing to move during use. Very nice. There's also some ventilation holes right there. That air will be pulled in as it cools that high capacity motor down. There's also something on the bottom that I feel is real important. You notice there's a uh, information from the company and you see there's an ETL labs number right there with a number and FDA registration number. That's real important. That says that ETL labs which has been around uh, for hundreds of years. Uh, they're the certification company in the United States. They're actually larger, uh, the largest certification company from Thomas Edison. And uh, 
So that says that electrically this is very safe to use in your kitchen. FDA certification means that the materials, the plastic, anything that contacts food is safe to use. So that's two very important things to let you know this is a quality product. So the first thing we're going to make is a Chicago style pizza. We have the ingredients laid out right here. And we're going to be using the attachment, the flat beater right there. And then when that incorporates all the ingredients, then we're going to go and use the dough hook. So first we're going to put in some warm water, some yeast, some sugar, and you want to give it a gentle stir. So the yeast mixture has been sitting, it's foamed a little bit, and now we're going to add in salt, cornmeal, cornmeal and olive oil. So we lowered it down using the lever. Gently mix it. So now we're going to add in about three cups of bread flour. We're going to do one cup at a time. And we're going to uh, turn the machine on and let it do its thing. We're going to change this paddle to the dough hook because it got incorporated. To make it easier, we're going to remove the bowl and you just go clockwise like that and it comes off. And you go counterclockwise. Now we're going to put the bowl back on, lock the bowl in place. Now we're going to drop it down and lock it in place. Make sure the dough is out of the way from the hook. So we're letting this run for about three to five minutes to get the dough all ready to be put in the oven at a warm temperature to have it rise. What I really like about making pizza with this mixer is that I can use the mixing bowl as my rising bowl. So I just add a little olive oil, move the dough around, and then I'm going to cover this, put it in a slightly warm oven, turn the oven off, and then let it sit for a couple hours to rise. So we just took it out of the oven, it was rising for about two hours, and look at the beautiful consistency of it. It's all puffy and soft and ready for baking. Now we're going to bake it and make a delicious pizza. So here's the finished product after we finished baking it, the Chicago style deep dish delicious pizza. Came out really nice. So I'm gonna let my wife tell you all the things that she's made with this great mixer. Oh my God, I love this stand mixer. I made New York pizza. I then made a Sicilian dough with the mixer. Made homemade Danish. I made an amazing coconut cream cake. Unbelievable babka loaf. A chocolate cake for my friends at work. A hummingbird cake. And amazing pita bread. Oh, and then I forgot about the bagels. There's your New York bagels. Homemade Polish pierogies for my husband. And then I made homemade egg noodle dough to make a homemade lasagna. These are homemade egg roll wrappers that I made with the mixer. And these noodles were made with the mixer, a Thai dish I made. So what's your overall opinion about the ACE KOOL brand, their stand mixer, 7.5 quart. All the attachments this has, all the stainless steel, instructions, recipe book. This thing worked really well, has a lot of power. It seems to be constructed really solidly too. My wife really likes it. She's made a lot of different things as I showed. So I'm gonna give this product a full five-star rating. 
Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.